This is Josh with PDS Equipment, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Mamaki's Illustrator plugin Fine Cut to add a white layer behind the register marks for a print cut job. Uh, so this is sometimes necessary for media in which the printed black register mark doesn't have much contrast against the finish of the media, which is really common with black vinyls and also holographic and metallic vinyls as well. Okay. So all you'll need to do this is to go to Mamaki's webpage and download the version of Fine Cut that works for, you know, your computer and your version of Illustrator. So once you've done that, which is very simple, within Illustrator, you'll go to Windows, Mamaki Fine Cut, and that will open this little toolbar right here. Okay, so if we go to this far right tab within the toolbar, with the three little squares right there, the first thing that we'll need to do, well, use the trial for now. The first thing that we'll need to do is uh, decide which machine we're going to be going to. So, you know, I'm going to be going to a 330 in this case, but it can work just as well on the 300s or 150s. Okay. Now using Fine Cut, it is very important. Our, our layers matter a lot. So I have my art in one layer and my cut all in a separate layer by itself. Okay, I'm also not actually using the Mamaki swatches. You can, but some funny things can happen. So it's easier just to use regular, uh, you know, process color lines rather than the spot colors, okay? So once we start with that, which is basically a normal job, if it was the swatches, that would be just like the normal thing we send to raster link. I'm gonna add one more layer. And in that layer, I'm going to draw a big box around all of my art. And then around that, I'm gonna press this button here, which will add register marks outside of that box. And I think the easiest way to end up with the white behind the register marks is to start with the red fill. So I'm going to keep that engaged. Okay. And once we have that, we can click on this button, which will... Actually, no, that's not what we're doing. We're clicking on the raster link button. My bad. So we're going to click on the raster link button. Okay. So once you open the raster link button, we have this little page right here. So I can tell it the art layer, I want to print. Or I can tell it to cut the art layer, which wouldn't really work in this case. But the cut layer, I do want to cut. Um, so if we had kept that on print and had those Mamaki swatches, that's when the really weird stuff would happen. So as long as we tell it that that layer is a cut layer, we're all completely good. And then, of course, we want to print the register mark layer as well. So once we have that completed, you just go to Output. And if you have your hot folder selected, Then raster link it should pop up. Yeah, it'll pop up and save it just as if uh, you saved uh, any other file into the hot folder. So I should specify the hot folder is always in that MJ control folder. Or if you're um, using raster link six, it'll say MJ suite. Okay, so now we got our, our job in raster link. It's got the register marks. And if we're going to add white behind our artboard, or sorry, artwork, we're going to do a regular valid pixel plate like we normally do. And there, the register marks have that white behind it. And now, oh. Oh, sorry. Of course, we got to composite it together. What am I doing? White on bottom, color on top. Yep, that looks good. Now we can go to the general print tab. Okay. And just like we normally would, we can define all of the lines from that layer to be whichever cut we want. Um, that we have set up on our machine. Okay, so two problems with this. One, this 
so far the way we've done it only really works on a single copy. We could do multiple copies, but then that's going to be multiple sets of register marks that the machine has to read, and that would you know be time consuming. And then two, we had those two different colors, but they didn't show up separately right here. So now I'm going to do it again um, to show you how to resolve those two issues. So one thing is that our nesting has to be done in Illustrator. I'll show you a quick way to do nesting to get multiple copies at once. And then we're going to have to have our two uh, swatches, our two cut lines in two different layers. Okay. So in this case, let's say we're printing on a roll that's 50, 50 inches. So I'm going to go into Illustrator. I'm going to make sure my artboard is 50 inches wide. Or, you know, you might do 49 just to be safe. And make that, well, let's for now say eight inches tall. Okay. And we're gonna do our copies before we create our register marks. And like I said, I'm gonna grab that, one of those cut lines and put that in a different layer. So now in layer three, I'm gonna call that cut two. In layer three, all I have is that cut line. In layer two, all I have is this cut line. And in the first layer, all I have is my art. Okay. So now, I'm just gonna, whoops. create multiple copies of this artwork. I think the easiest way to do it is to set the first one about where you want it in the bottom right. And I'm gonna click while pressing Alt, and that allows me to make a copy. And then I'm gonna press Control D a bunch of times. And I'm gonna click on all those. Move them on top like that, whoops. I let go of Alt too quickly. It's not snapping exactly where I want it, but that's fine. And I'm just gonna do one more copy. There we go. I keep doing that. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same exact thing we just did. Gonna to go to my Layers tab. Create a new layer. In that new layer, make a big box around all my art. Okay, and with that box selected, I'm gonna create my register marks. Make sure that I'm adding the fill around the register marks. Yep, that looks good. Okay, that looks good. Dark bounds. My artboard, yep, still smaller than that 50 inches, so we're good to go. Now I'm once again clicking this Rasterlink button so I can send this job to Rasterlink. I want the art layer to print, of course. The cut, I want to cut, not print. Cut two, I want to cut, not print. And the register marks, I want to print. So now, I'm going to the hot folder, I can press output. Okay, so I fast forwarded that, but that took about three minutes for that to save and open within Rasterlink. So saving those big jobs does take a little bit longer. Um, 
So yeah, prepare to work that into your workflow. Um, yeah, once you have it open within raster link, we can do just as we did for the first one, create our white plate. Um, but let's say you don't actually want white behind your art. Then I just go to the color replace tab and click on that red and color replace it to have white as well. Just like that. So now it's going to print white with the red on top. I'm going to make sure that also has white underneath it. Okay, so anytime you use the color replacement tab, you have another layer kind of hidden into that layer. So we're going to go into our layers tab and make sure, yep, it's printing the special color white underneath with the color on top. So that should work. Now I'm going to go to the general print tab. I like to arrange and center. That looks good. I'm going to go to my cut edit tab. And we have one and two. That should be one is the layer underneath and two is the layer right on top. So if we go back and look at our art, the layer underneath was actually our perf cut or outer cut. And this is our kiss cut. So I usually make my kiss cut, cut one, and my perf cut, cut two. So for the lower layer, that's the first one. I'm gonna apply cut two. For the other layer, I'm going to apply my cut one. And there we go. Then you just rip it and print it like any other job. And that should, that should help on those weird medias where even with the red and black, it, it just can't detect the difference between them. Okay. Thank you.